What's up everyone? Welcome to Yoga with Adrienne. I'm Adrienne and this is Benji. And today we have an awesome practice to help guide you to awakening the artist within. So hop into something comfy and let's get started. All right, welcome. Let's begin today's practice on the ground in extended child's pose. So come on down, take your time getting here. And obviously right away, I invite you to allow the sound of my voice to guide you here since we're gonna come into a shape where you'll want to bow the head. Knees are gonna come as wide as your yoga mat. Big toes to touch, fingertips reaching all the way forward, and as you're ready, slowly come on down, melting your heart towards the earth. Right away, you might start to feel some sensations in the spine, in the back body, in the shoulders, in the hips. Meet them with a gentle breath. In, and nice and easy breath out. If this is not a comfortable shape for you to begin in, let's adapt. Let's, let's use a little creative energy to find something that feels good. Maybe it's a nice comfortable cross-legged seat or kneeling. You can even begin lying down. Start to notice sensations of the body, big ones, small ones. One's the size of your head, just kidding. And then meet those sensations, whatever you're noticing, with a gentle breath in. And nice and easy breath out. If you can, close your eyes here for a moment, relax your jaw, and just start to settle in. It's a swift practice today one that eases in, designed to help get energy moving in the body. I would say very lovingly so, but if you want to really make the most of this practice, you gotta bring the breath. So let's take a deep breath in together, in through the nose. And exhale out through the nose or mouth here. Even bigger inhale. And nice long exhale. Start to rock the forehead nice and easy side to side as again you breathe in deeply. And exhale completely. Awesome work. Press into the tops of the feet, claw through the fingertips slowly and nice and slow as if you were moving in slow motion. Rise up. We're gonna come to all fours here. Draw the wrists underneath the shoulders, knees directly underneath the hips. And again, let's bring the breath. Ready, here we go. Inhale, dropping the belly. Upper arm bones rotate out. We look forward, we soften through the skin of the face. And then on an exhale, take the navel up, around through the spine, chin to chest, really finding a nice big round spine. Good, then dropping it to breathe in. And lifting it to breathe out, navel draws up. Inhale, drop the belly, open the chest, tailbone to the sky. And exhale, tucking the tail in. Crown of the head to the earth. Really press into your foundation here. One more with the sound of your breath. Nice, then inhale the tabletop position. Claw through the fingertips, take pressure up out of the wrist. Draw your navel up, so just kind of hug the low belly in. Hug the low ribs up and in. So we're just kind of creating that connection to center. And you're gonna kick your right foot out. Dial all of the right toes down towards the earth, hair toss. And then send your left fingertips forward as if you were shaking someone's hand. So again, you have to kind of find that, that knitting of the ribs, the abdominal wall turning on. 
There you go, here we go, inhale. Exhale, rounding through the spine, just like cat pose. Hug the elbow and the knee all the way up and in, tuck the chin to the chest. Inhale to extend, look forward. And exhale, rounding up and in. Inhale to extend, press into the top of that left foot for stability. And exhale, round, squeeze and lift. Inhale, all the way out, expansion. Exhale, contract. One more, inhale, expand. And exhale, contract, pause here, squeeze and lift. Try to lift your right heel to your right glute. I know, for three, two, and release on the one. Awesome. If you need to take a short break off the wrist, you can here. Reset, find your foundation. Hug the low ribs up. So I'm just kind of drawing my ribs up. I'm feeling that connection in my core here. I'm not dipping through the low back. Peek at me if you need to. I'm not dipping through the low back, but I'm lengthening the tailbone out and drawing the navel up. All right, once you set yourself up for play, for greatness, let's rock and roll. Kicking the left foot out, dialing the left toes down. Hugging the midline here as I reach the right fingertips forward. We're gonna move with the breath. Spread the toes, spread the fingertips, inhale. Exhale, reel it in, nice and slow. <sighs> squeeze and lift. Good, inhale, extend. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Try to move from the middle here, navel draws up. Good, inhale, extend. Exhale, with your breath, bring it in. <sighs> Press into the top of the right foot, inhale to expand, exhale to contract. Slight bend in that left elbow, not locked. Inhale, extend. Careful not to rush it here. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Inhale to extend. Exhale, squeeze and lift, 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 lift. Okay, one more time, inhale, extend. Spread the fingertips, spread the toes. Exhale, reel it in, pause here, squeeze and lift. You're in cat pose. Try to lift your left heel to your left glute. We're strengthening that hamstring for three, two. Awesome, and on the one, we release. Listen carefully. We're gonna walk the hands forward. We're gonna curl the toes under. Inhale to drop the belly here, look forward. Exhale, hug the low ribs in, lift the hips up high, drop the heels down dog. Back to the knees, inhale, slow descend in the knees down. Drop the belly, upper arm bones rotate out here so your elbow creases are shining forward. And then exhale, navel draws to the spine and we send it up downward dog. Keep it going, inhale, slow descend in the knees down. Elbow creases forward, so biceps towards the front of your mat. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lower the knees, drop the belly, open the chest. Exhale, navel to spine. Maybe this time you send your gaze to your belly button here. Good, inhale, drop the knees. Drop the belly, open the chest. Exhale, claw through the fingertips, lift the knees, heavy in the heels. Good, one more, inhale, drop the knees. Drop the belly, open the chest. And exhale, lift the knees, hips up high, heavy in the heels, downward facing dog. Now pause here. Upper arm bones are still externally rotated. Turn your big toes in or turn your toes in just a little bit to feel that inner rotation in the hips. Find your breath. Beautiful, then you're gonna slowly walk the feet in, toes to touch. And then we're gonna inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, drop the heels. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, drop the heels. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, drop the heels and really press away from your yoga mat, trying to lift up from the hip creases a little bit higher. Good, careful to not hold or clench in the neck. Good, then we're gonna nice and easy, keep breathing. Cross the right foot over the left, and then the left foot over the right. Crisscrossing all the way up to the top of the mat. Take your time, eventually coming onto the fingertips. <sighs> Be kind to yourself, no judgment. There's many moments of humility in the yoga practice and we can embrace them instead of um, judge them. I'll meet you in a forward fold at the top of the mat. Feet hip width apart or flush together. If you want, you can take 
the tops of the hands to the earth, bend your knees just for a little wrist relief. Shake the head yes, shake the head no. Keep listening to the sound of your breath here. Using that nice audible breath, maybe ujjayi breath, to really bring your attention, your mind to the present to help move any stagnant energy. Awakening the artist within, getting closer to that feeling of presence, that sense of self, that intuition, that intuitive state. All right, let's play. Bend the knees a little more, send the hips back, belly comes towards the tops of the thighs, and nice and easy, let your fingertips just be soft and easy. We're gonna slow as you can roll, Come to standing, rolling up through the spine, nice and slow. Try to really enjoy this transition. And in general, in this practice today, you can think about the transitions. Rising up to mountain. Whatever this means to you, embodying this pose fully, standing up tall, letting go of something maybe that's been bothering you, just really becoming present with this simple shape that can have so much depth. Tadasana. Spreading your awareness through all four corners of the feet. Reconnect with the sound of your breath. So not just focusing on the landings today, the places where we land, but Try to focus on the moments in between, right? The moments in between point A and point B. I'll guide you, but just a little food for thought, right? The process, the creative process, the, the process of kind of following your intuition, letting one thing bleed into the next. Trusting that. Okay, here we go. Inhale, spread the fingertips. Nice and easy, reach for the sky. Good, exhale, bend your knees generously. Float it all the way down. Soft fingers, if you have a little pet around, maybe you reach to give them some love. If not, I'll share mine with you. All right, then let's all drop our heads back down. Inhale, halfway lift. You're gonna send the fingertips behind you like airplane arms, slowly <clears throat> bringing some awareness to the heart center. Support your low back by drawing your navel in and up here. We're pausing here, we're breathing. Reach your fingertips back, imagine a little angel or you can imagine your pal Adrian coming by and just grabbing your fingers and pulling them back a little bit so you can create a little more traction here. Finding that length in the neck. The traps, excuse me, yeah, the traps, actually keep your traps off but your triceps start to maybe get a little tired here. We're breathing, we're breathing for three. Two, spread the fingertips, and on the one, go ahead and relax everything down, forward fold. Nice, from here we're gonna send just the right toes back, just the right toes. Lower the right knee to the earth. And you're gonna take your right hand to the earth and inhale, reach your left fingertips up towards the sky. Big breath in as you lengthen through the crown. Exhale, bring it back, frame your left foot with your fingers. Good, inhale to look forward. Exhale, shift the hips back, pull the left hip crease back, flex your left toes towards your face. Then inhale to look forward. Exhale to bow the forehead towards your left knee. Doesn't have to even come close, just towards. Good, inhale to look forward again. Exhale to roll all the way through that left foot. Lift the right knee up. We're gonna plant the palms here. Step the left foot back, plank pose. Good, from here, find that hollow front body again. Hug the low ribs in, draw the navel in and up. Even low belly kind of draws in towards the center line here so you feel that connection in your core. We're shaking perhaps, we're definitely creating some heat, we're moving things around here for three, two, way to stick with it, look forward on the one, rock forward on the toes, squeeze the elbows in, and with control, claw through your fingertips as you slowly lower all the way down to the earth. Good, then from here, press into the tops of the feet. Squeeze the elbows into the side body. Inhale, lift up to Cobra, your version. Shouldn't feel any pain here, tuck the chin. Good, and then exhale, slowly lower down, forehead to the earth. Good, from here, curl the toes under. Inhale in, exhale, press up to plank pose. 
Good, inhale in again here. Strong and steady, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Nice. Walk the feet together, really together. Claw through the fingertips, press down through your knuckles. Inhale, lift the heels, zip up through the legs. Exhale to drop the heels. Inhale to lift the heels, hug the low ribs in, connect your core. Exhale to drop the heels. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Nice audible breath. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Press into the fleshy part of your hand between your index finger and thumb. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower, keep it going. Excellent. Then drop the heels, cross the left foot over the right. Continue all the way up to the top of the mat, crossing one leg over the other, crisscross steps all the way to the top, eventually coming onto the fingertips and into forward fold at the top of the mat. Let everything go. Good, inhale, halfway lift. Lengthen the crown straight towards the front, tail straight towards the back. Send the fingertips out, airplane arms, slight bend in the knees. Draw the shoulder blades together. Peek at me if you need to here. So working to create the sensation of a nice straight line from the tail to the crown, hugging the front body kind of up, kind of defying gravity and hugging it up, creating a little tone in the abdominal wall, reaching fingertips back, pressing palms down into an imaginary surface here. Again, you might start to feel your triceps turn on here. Hey, yo. Great, we're here for three. Breathe deep. Two. And on the one, let everything go. <sighs> nice, Benji did that sigh with me. All right, fingertips come to the earth. This time we're gonna slide the left toes back. Lower the left knee to the earth. Then press left hand all the way into your mat. And here we go, big twist. Inhale, pull the right hip crease back and let that be what brings your right fingertips all the way up towards the sky. So nice twist in the spine here. Breathe, nice full lateral breath. So feel your lungs. Expand, your rib cage expands as you breathe in. Good, and then slowly bring it back down. Frame your right foot as you breathe out. Good, pull the right hip crease back. Flex your right toes towards your face this time. Nice runner's stretch. Keep a slight or generous bend in your right knee. And here we go, inhale to look forward. Find extension. Exhale to slowly bow the forehead towards your right knee. Keep the right hip crease pulling back. Good, inhale to look forward again. And exhale to roll through that right foot. Awesome, lift the back knee, plant the palms. Here we go, stepping the right foot back, plank pose. Big inhale in here, strong. Exhale to look forward, hug the elbows in and slowly lower belly to the earth. Inhale, cobra, open your heart, lift it up. And then exhale, soften and release. All the way down. Inhale in here. Exhale, press up, power up, plank pose. Inhale in again here, big full breath. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Awesome work. Really, really nice. Bend the knees, pedal it out here. Take a couple moments to cycle through your breath in and out, in and out, and just explore what's going on in your body. So if you really need a break, you can come onto the knees here. Take a child's pose. Maybe you start to stretch through the fascia of the foot. Maybe you lift one leg and then the other. So a little creative expression here in downward facing dog. If you wanna flip your dog, you can. If, you, if that's in your practice, if you wanna do a down dog twist, maybe we work there. Maybe you just embrace some exquisite stillness here and let your breath move you. Couple cycles of breath to explore here in Downward Facing Dog. Then even it out. If you're in child's pose, come back to your dog. And from Downward Facing Dog, we'll bend the knees. Inhale to look forward. And on an exhale, make your way to the top. Your version. Then inhale, halfway lift, airplane arms, again, pressing into an imaginary surface. Nice, long, beautiful neck. Inhale in again here, get long, and exhale to let everything go. 
Good, from here, bring the thumbs to the hip creases. Pull them back, shift weight into your heels. Bend the knees, send the hips back, keep the knees bent, then release the fingertips down to come up, Utkatasana chair pose. So hug those low ribs in even here. Low back nice and long. So careful not to really create tension in the traps in the neck and shoulders by going too narrow here. You can keep it nice and open. Really sending weight into the heels, finding length in the neck. Notice when you want to give up. Notice where your mind goes when things get hard. Can you stay in the process? Sit into it. Lean in. Sit back. Observe. Be a witness to what is going on. We're here for three. Two, listen carefully on the one. Pull back with the fingers. Come back to those airplane arms. You got it. Beautiful. Inhale to look forward. Exhale to let everything go. Forward fold. <laughs> Benji just side out with me again. Good. Inhale in again here. Exhale to plant the palm. Step or hop it back to plank pose. Inhale to look forward. Shift forward. Exhale. Belly to cobra or chaturanga to upward facing dog. Your version. You can play a little bit here. We're gonna meet in downward facing dog. If downward dog is too much for you today, all, all of these dogs, you can come to a little puppy posture. Peek at me with the knees on the ground, elbows on the ground. Same benefits, just a little more cooling. And then a couple of cycles of breath here to play. Really. Stirring things up with a nice, long, audible inhale and a nice, long, audible exhale. All right, and then here we go. Anchoring through the left heel. Inhale, lift the right leg up high, three-legged dog. On an exhale, step it all the way through up into a nice lunge. Keep the back knee lifted when you're ready. Strong legs here, strong core. Inhale, scoop the palms forward, up and back. We're coming into a nice high lunge here. Pull the right hip crease back, get down low, bend your back knee to get your center right underneath you. So we want to create a nice long line where the head and the heart and the pelvis are stacked. And bending that back knee is going to really help you work toward that, right? Work in that direction. Great, we're here. Palms are facing each other. Thumbs back, pinkies forward. Lots of space for the shoulders here, for the neck and the traps to soften and relax. Inhale, look up. Listen carefully. Exhale, you're gonna slowly twist to your right. Take the right fingertips back, left fingertips forward. Good, then inhale, straighten both legs. Scoop the arms all the way up. Big beach ball up and overhead. And then exhale, open to the left, warrior two. Back toes turn in. Front knee bent. And same thing here. There's going to be a tendency to kind of lean forward. Think about stacking the head, the heart, and the pelvis all in one line. Great. Pulling the right hip crease back still. Strong arms. Here we go. Inhale in, keep that front knee bent. You got this. Right fingertips reach forward and up and then all the way back. Peaceful warrior. Inhale in, have fun with this. Exhale, cartwheel all the way down. You're gonna go right into that twist we did earlier, but this time with the back knee lifted. Right fingertips reach up, big breath in. Big breath out, brings you all the way back down. Beautiful, plant the palms, step the right toes back. Inhale to shift forward. Exhale, belly to cobra or chaturanga to upward facing dog. Move with your breath. Listen to your body. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Inhale in deeply here. Take a lion's breath, nice cleansing breath as you breathe out. Don't be shy. From here, anchor through the right heel. Inhale, lift the left leg up high, three-legged dog. Here we go. Exhale, step it all the way up. Nice lunge here. Back knee stays lifted. We got this. Front knee over front ankle. All right, connect to your core, your center. Here we go. Pay attention to the transitions. How you move matters. Inhale, scoop the arms forward, up and back. We rise up. Reestablish that bend in that front knee. Left hip crease pulls back. 
we find our inner support system. So we know the structure, we play within the structure to make it work, to create our experience, right? Co-create with your breath here. Breathe in, feel that lift, breathe out, ground. Maybe bend that back knee, get your center right underneath you. Awesome, you're doing great. Here we go, big inhale to maybe look up. Careful not to crunch the back of the neck. Exhale, keep the front knee bent. You got this, slow and steady. Open twist to the left. Pull that left hip crease back just like we did in the runner stretch. Great, now we're gonna straighten both legs, come back to center with the inhale. So inhale, we rise up. Fingertips reach up, we straighten both legs. And then exhale, dialing to the right, warrior two. Front knee over front ankle, back toes are turned in. Strong legs. Stretch, Benji. And then here we go, keep that front knee bent. We're building strength, meeting your appropriate edge. Reach the left fingertips forward, then up, create length, space, and then back. Peaceful warrior, neck is nice and long. Hug the lower ribs in here, inhale, exhale, have some fun. Cartwheel all the way through and down. Right hand comes to the earth, we pivot on the back foot. And when you're ready, inhale, left fingertips to the sky. Big twist, big breath, strong legs. Inhale, lengthen through the crown, nice long neck. Exhale to bring it all the way back down, awesome work. Plant the palms, step the left toes back, move through a little vinyasa here, something that feels good. You can add on, you can take a break, make it your own. And we're gonna meet in that downward facing dog. When you get there, take the deepest breath you've taken all day long. Exhale, lion's breath, tongue out, don't be shy. One more, just like that. Deep breath in. Exhale to empty it out, let it go. Nice, slow descend of the knees to kiss the earth. Child's pose, your version, knees together or wide. Or maybe you just come to a nice, comfortable seat. Come to a place where you can rest and begin to relax. Close your eyes. And really land here, whatever that means to you. Can you just kind of land in this moment? And slowly begin to surrender. Relaxing anything that might be holding or gripping here. Continuing with your nice, conscious, full inhalations. And these really awesome, even exhalations, just long and strong. <laughs> Allow the breath to move you here for just a couple quiet moments. Slowly, we'll begin to open the eyes. Claw through the fingertips and easy breezy. Again, pay attention to the transitions here as we rise back up to all fours. We're gonna walk the knees out. You can curl the toes under and just send the hips back and forth a couple times. And then we can uncurl the toes and we can just draw like a couple circles or even figure eights with the hips one way. And then the other, get a little freaky. And then find your tabletop position. Press into the top of your left foot. You're gonna lift the right knee up. You're gonna send your right foot all the way up towards the sky. So right knee stays bent and sole of the right foot towards the sky. Careful not to lean onto your left side, really hug into that midline. Toning the core here nice and easy. And now for the right glute, we're gonna begin to pulse just nice and easy. 
sole of the right foot up towards the sky. Now try to keep the shoulders nice and even here, pressing into both palms evenly. Gaze straight down. We're pulsing, we're breathing here, nice and calm in the face, moving that energy, that kundalini throughout the body here. Keep it going, pulsing, feeling that right glute engage, feeling the low belly draw up and in. You're here for five, you got this, four, Three, stick with it. Two, on the one, check it out. Extend the right leg, then bend the right knee, bring it all the way up and in for a one-legged pigeon. All right, flip onto the top of that back foot. You're gonna bring the left inner thigh up towards the sky. You can keep the right heel close in or you can work to bring the right shin out, but careful that you're not kind of putting the cart before the horse. Stick with the sensation over the shape here and you can grow this pose. Um, in a way that feels good for you and your body. All right, keep active in both feet. So the root of this posture is gonna be that back foot actually, nice and strong. Benji's chasing something in his dreams here. We're gonna sit up nice and tall. We're gonna keep the right foot active as we slowly begin to melt forward. Maybe we come onto the forearms. <laughs> He's dreaming, he's chasing a squirrel. And then maybe we come onto the forehead. We can even kind of uh, bubble gum, bubble gum. <laughs> he's, he's really having a... <laughs> okay, pigeon pose. You can really um, find a place to rest your head is where I'm going with that. So breathe deep. Oh, the joys and sometimes the perils of practicing with your pet. Just kidding. Only joy. Peril. I think it'd be peril, not perils. Anyway, close your eyes, breathe deep. And now nice and easy, so super slow and steady. You're gonna stay here for a bit, but see if you can find a soft, soft, easy rocking that's initiated from that right hip socket. So rocking gently left to right. It can be very, very, very subtle. Continue to breathe. And then press the palms into the earth. Draw your navel to your spine. Tuck the chin and slowly begin to roll it back up. Inhale in. Exhale, press into the palms. Come back to all fours. If you want to do a downward dog here, you can. And we'll reset for the other side. <laughs> Take a peek at the video here and look at Benji. He's running. Running and running, running, running. Okay, here we go. From a nice strong foundation. <laughs> Here we go, pressing into the top of the right foot. We're gonna kick the left foot up high. Slow the left foot to the sky. I'm gonna be um, just aware of where my weight is shifting here, trying to press into both palms evenly. When you're ready, let's begin that pulse. Find your breath. Hugging onto that midline, hugging those low ribs in. And if you're kind of, if this is a new thing for you, move slow so you can really feel what muscles you're activating and make sure that you're not letting any tension creep up into the shoulders or the neck. Gaze straight down, unless you're looking at Benji who's still running after something in his dreams. Otherwise, gaze straight down and keep it going here. Press into the top of the right foot for stability. Feel that left glute start to turn on. Low belly start to draw up and in to support. You're doing great. Keep it going. You're doing awesome for five. Breathe deep for four, three, two, and on the one, extend the left leg out all the way, then bend and draw it all the way up into one leg in, one legged pigeon on the other side. Okay. Take a look back at your right foot. Ground it down. 
Right inner thigh spirals up towards the sky. This is the root of the posture. Back foot strong. Then from here, check your left toes. Keep them nice and active. Inhale, think cobra or up dog here. Find that length first. And then you can start to play. Maybe coming onto the forearms. Maybe stacking the fists. Maybe you keep it lifted or maybe you start to find a soft bow. Nice active breath here, my dears. Stay in it. Bring your attention back to the sound of your breath. As you're ready, invite that slow, gentle rock. Just play with it. Notice how this side is different. and easy. We'll bring the hands to the earth. We'll stay nice and energized through the feet and we'll rise up. Lift the heart. Listen carefully. You're going to sink on over to your left hip and you're going to bring the right foot around. Benji wakes up from his dream. We're going to bring the soles of the feet together. Cobbler's pose or Baddha Konasana. Sit up nice and tall. You can grab the ankles or you can take the thumbs and start to use the pressure of the thumbs to just give yourself a little foot massage, little reflexology moment here. All right, then inhale in here, lift your chest. Exhale, bend the elbows left to right, begin to look forward as if you were looking down into a pond. I always say this is like my, my Zoolander moment. It's like. Who am I looking, getting a reflection back? So take a second here, keep a nice, um, long, beautiful neck here, so not collapsed just yet. Looking down, creating length, seeing your reflection. Inhale in, and then exhale, draw everything down. Let the weight of your head drop nice and slow and with control. Inhale, feel the skin of your back body stretch. And exhale, slowly begin to relax the shoulders and we'll release and come back up. Take your fingertips, bring them to the outer edges of your legs, slowly close this chapter. Knees kiss together and we're gonna lean back here, way back, nice and easy. Good, then we're gonna slowly lift the legs, cross one leg over, and you're just gonna take whatever shape you want with your arms, I know. It can be like whatever, it can be just basic, it can be eagle arms, it can be just like, ah! <laughs> like someone's scared, it can be jazz hands, be prayer position. Cool, then come back to center, cross the opposite leg over. And then just take a shape with your arms. Come on, second, second side, don't be shy. And then come back to center, opposite leg on top. Here you go, you get another chance on this side, take a shape. This is like the most creative core work I've ever done. <laughs> Great, come back to center. And last time, opposite leg on top, take a shape. Change it. Great, and then come back to center. Inhale in, exhale, forehead towards the knees. Take the biggest I love you breath you've taken all day. This is it, your practice is coming to an end. And every end is a new beginning. And from my heart to yours, I wish you a beautiful continued awakening of the artists within. It's so beautiful when we are able to recognize our creative energy and to use it in a way that serves. Go ahead and lift the head. 
cross the legs, bring the hands together at the heart. Just create a little energy here by bringing the palms together, creating a little movement here, a little heat. And then slowly bring the thumbs up to the third eye. Inhale in. Exhale to relax the shoulders. Inhale in again. And we'll exhale to close the practice with a bow. Take good care, everyone. Namaste.